Hi, everybody. It's Sarah on Saturday, March 2nd, 2019. Here's to you. Here's to us. It's Saturday. Mm hmm. Well, <clears throat> I'll leave my coffee to the fruit fly. How's everybody doing today? Are you doing well? It, it feels like the last couple of days have been a blur for me. No big reasons why. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but here I am. It's Saturday. Today is meeting day, and then it's food prepping day, along with the keto pizza that we have at 3 this afternoon. There is a storm brewing out there right now. It's just wet. It's not snow. But here we are on a cozy Saturday morning, just the two of us. Yep, you and me, unless your significant other is watching with you, but I doubt that. <laughs> All right, one more sip. I can't resist. Mm-hmm. So, well, I um I got up today. I had nine hours sleep last night. That's always just incredible to me to think that I can catch up like that. I never, that was two nights sleep for me for most of my life, like four and a half hours. And um, so I'm very grateful that um, the keto food plan is is giving me that. Now, somebody, I read somebody yesterday saying, that the only complaint they have is that since they've been keto, they have insomnia. So I, f I feel bad. You know, it's like, it is funny, the, the uh, non-scale victories or gifts that we get that um, we weren't anticipating. And um, if, if you're like me, you came into this thinking, weight loss, it's all I want. I just want to run down the beach like I'm on that, hmm, excuse me, show in the red bathing suit. I can't think of it. Yeah, I need more coffee. That's right. I haven't had all my coffee, so my wits aren't all about me. Well, I've got my food kind of kind of uh, planned a little bit for the week. I got my second U.S. wellness order. So tomorrow on the big green egg will be um, ribeyes, boneless ribeyes. They look so divine. I don't know if any of you saw Wolfgang Puck on the Oscars, but he showed this Japanese beef that they were serving, and it looked like a roadmap from a satellite. <laughs> Just all these, and that's what these look like, besides the little pockets of, of fat that you see in a regular ribeye. The, the marbling through the, the rest of the meat is unbelievable. So we're having those for the first time. Last time we had the ribeye, French ribeye. So this is the boneless one, asparagus, Brussels sprouts, and... um asparagus, Brussels sprouts, and cauliflower. And so I will be prepping those today. I don't know where all of you live, of course, but um, so I did a little bit of shopping on Thursday and a little bit of shopping on Friday and a little bit of shopping on Wednesday and a little bit of shopping on Friday. And both were pre-snowstorm days, like tomorrow will be another pre-storm because there's supposed to be something Sunday into Monday. And it's always so funny to see the, the look of panic and the people in stores, you know, as if as if it's going to be the like the last last hurrah for um for any availability of food. So I, I just kind of chuckle. But, you know, this comes from a food hoarder who's three ref who's two refrigerators and three freezers are stock full. But I am working on them. And I tell that to Greg and he, he just rolls his eyes. But I really am. Um, so I'm very excited about that because they need it. I need to work through some of the things in them, especially if we're going to be purchasing things like U.S. wellness foods. They come cryovacked, packed, and um, yeah, to me, it's it's worth it. Um, so I, I don't have any complaints, I don't think. Would anything be rumbling? I've been watching the usual and um, lining up my Friday with a friend interviews. They're always fun. And um, Lindy got a lot of nice comments yesterday. And uh, so I'm glad that you are enjoying them as much as I am. It's just nice to, you know, check into somebody else's um, keto plan or carnivore plan or carnivish plan and see how they do it. To me, that's where the tweaks come from, is listening to somebody else talk about, you know, what works for them. And of course, there's always debates going, and I always laugh because it's like, I was listening to somebody, and they were talking about salt, and by the time they got done dissing 
all this, the keto salts that <clears throat> we all talk about. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, even, even Dr. Berry did one about the plastics and the sea salts. And um, he may be right. I usually use my Redmond salt from, I think it's Idaho. And, um, and so that comes from an ancient uh, salt bed, salt mine. And I have that. And then um, I put the pink Himalayan in my water and the pink Himalayan in my coffee. And then Celtic salt crystals on my tongue. So I still have a variety. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and so, but it was just funny hearing people debate salts. Um, and I use the, either the new salt or the low salt, but the potassium in the quarter teaspoon, there's like, I don't know, four to 600 um, milligrams of, of the uh, potassium. I know some people have cream of tartar for their potassium. And so we all do what we do and it works, right? Um, we always listen to the experiments and um, I just love my keto. I, I love my concoction in the morning that I have with my water, the potassium, um, the um, magnesium, and a little bit of Dr. Price's electrolytes sprinkled on top with the juice of a whole lemon. And then I put the lemon carcasses <laughs> in my water and have my salted water um, along with that while my wonderful coffee is brewing. And this is um, Vitacup that I usually have every morning. Um, and it, it's the beauty blend. It's fun. It's got collagen in it. Um, I just like the flavors. I like the genius flavor too. And they have sales all the time. So if you've never had it, it's not organic. Um, and now it comes in bags as well as the Keurigs. So those, that's fun. And so that's what I'm going to be doing today. It's going to be a short one here today because... Um, it's time for me to bathe and get ready to go slay the day. So what is your morning routine? What do you do on the days that you work and the days that you don't work? Do you enjoy some um, more casual time on days that you don't work with your coffee and your videos in the morning? <clears throat> and is your work day kind of busy too? I know that Kim, Kim S., she likes to get up early so she can get all of her fun in, her exercise, her videos, her coffee. She likes to get it all done before the rest of the world wakes up. I'm with Kim on this one. So thank you so much for watching. Have a grand and glorious Saturday. Stay away from the stuff that you're supposed to stay away from. You know that stuff. We always have open, true confession time. But who wants to do that with me? Nobody. <laughs> Enjoy your day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.